Having seen so much of other teams working in gold mining with a squad as the unit, such gold mining teams always leave the commentator exhausted. Gold mining work in the original river is vastly different from land-based gold mining. Either you won't find a single speck of gold for consecutive days, or you might strike a big deposit in an instant. Some people can even harvest thousands of ounces in a day. In the past two months, they only dug up about one ounce or around 30 grams of gold. Naturally, it makes people wonder if this gold mining team will end up empty-handed again this year, especially when the second team at Gemini Falls opened the sluice gates again and shockingly didn't find a single speck of gold, enough to make the commentator break into a cold sweat. They've been toiling away for over two months moving rocks, only to not earn enough for a pack of cigarettes. What's the point of this gold mining team persevering? Fortunately, at this moment, some team members suspected that the cleaning speed was too fast, resulting in the sluice gate not catching the gold in the mud. And the most straightforward detection method is to repan the tailings discharged from the equipment after repanning the tailings that were sent to the gold pan. Seeing the golden particles in the gold pan confirmed the team member's suspicion. The mud rich in gold took a stroll in the gold pan and quietly slipped back into the river. A member who seemed to have planned this in advance suddenly brought out an even longer sluice gate from the side. Seeing this, the commentator couldn't help but have 100,000 more whys, since they were prepared. Why didn't they bring it out earlier? After confirming that the gold wouldn't be lost anymore, the underwater team members jumped into the river again to start the gold suction work. However, not long after that, they encountered the methyl rock layer again. It's because the constant pressure from large rocks on the surface caused a mixture of rocks and mud over the years to be compressed indefinitely. Its hardness is almost as hard as the real rock layer. The gold mining team just needs to break through this hard shell to dig into the real gold-rich rock layer. On the other side, the first team at Pisces Falls can only be described as miserable if Ada's team just couldn't stop the gold in the soil. Then on Old Lay's side, they simply didn't find any gold. But optimistically, he always feels that there are countless gold houses downstream of the waterfall, always analyzing energetically and thinking that there must be gold wherever there is gold. When there's absolutely no gold after the first nugget, he almost ended the first gold nest with a harvest close to zero. Then, with the team, he started digging the second gold nest. But in the end, whether there's gold under the riverbed, or how much gold there is, probably only the mountain god knows. Old Lay's team, however, is certain that there must be, absolutely must be. The next period of work began again, repeating the previous process, continuously moving the large rocks from the river and sending the exposed mud into the gold suction ship again. However, after a while, they once again had no harvest of particles. Experienced Old Lay had to once again rely on his imaginative vitality. He believed that whenever the river surged, some sediment rich in gold would be washed to the banks of the river bay. So, perhaps there might be another place with gold. Nobody expected that this time he was right. After traces of gold were found in the gold pan, the first team began concentrated cleaning of the mud and sand along the riverbank. They really found some decent gold nuggets in the water gate. The second team, battling the methyl rock layer, received good news again. While clearing the methyl rock, they unexpectedly discovered a cave at the bottom of the waterfall. The excited team once again felt like they had struck gold. Seeing this, the editor has to say once again, Ada and his son's gold panning work is always a resounding speculation. They believe that wherever there is gold, there should be. If they don't find any gold in the end, it can only mean that the gold is in the wrong place. After cleaning the newly discovered gold, the expected golden treasure did not appear. Besides some sediment in the water gate, there was nothing else. Fortunately, on Old Ray's side, there was still a tiny harvest in the end. Apart from some sediment that had settled, there was nothing else. At least Old Ray had a bit of a gain. Although the total amount accumulated, it's hard to make a gold ring. But the wedding had to go on. Old Ray's stepdaughter, Ada's half-sister, Kira, and his good friend, Paul, were happily tying the knot. Good friends turned brothers-in-law. Employees turned son-in-law. This made the relationships in this gold panning even team. more confusing. Unable to find gold, Ada, who couldn't afford the dowry, chose to directly refuse to attend the wedding.